Hey guys, this is Eric Cortina. Today we're going to install a jewel trigger in uh, Panda F Class Action. The first thing that we need to do is remove the screws from the hanger. These are just snug on here. And then you can pull the hanger out. Okay, this is the trigger hanger. Some of these are offset, so you you know if they are, you need to be careful which way you put them in. You know, this way or that way, because they will actually offset your trigger one way or the other. The easiest way to tell which way the hanger goes into action is the there's this notch on there. This notch goes to the back, so make sure you uh, get that on there properly. Otherwise, your bolt is going to get hung up on there. So okay, so you drop your your uh, your trigger in here like this, okay. And you get your your pins. So the first thing you need to do is align the trigger with the hanger, the holes. These pins are tapered, so make sure the tapered end goes in first. Simply tap it. So they're flush, you're done. It's that easy. At that point, you simply drop the trigger hanger in the action and put the screws back in. I like to torque them to 20 inch pounds. And that's all it takes. Do a function test. If the bolt goes in, you're ready. That's already good news. You know, make sure obviously it's unloaded. That's all it takes to uh, put a trigger in a panda action. Straightforward. The tools needed to uh, put a trigger in are, uh, you know, I use one of these uh, Wheeler Engineering gunsmithing blocks. They call it a universal bench block. Use one of those. A 332nd punch. A small uh, ball peen hammer and uh, I use a torque wrench. That's all it takes.